Yannick Sinner is the champion in Miami. He defeated Grigor Dimitrov in straight sets. This is the post-match reaction. Let's go through it. So let's get into it. And Yannick Sinner wins the Miami Open, defeating Grigor Dimitrov 6-3, 6-1 in Miami. And it is his win at the third attempt. It was his third final, but he got it done. They say third time lucky. It definitely was for Yannick Sinner. And you can see how he's progressed over the finals. The first one to her catch, the second one to Medvedev. This time round, he played Dimitrov, who was in inspired form, and he defeated him in a comfortable nature, it has to be said. And uh, he's now 22-1 and in 2024. Third title of 2024. Second Masters title. He got another one in Toronto last year. And 13th title all in all. It is a lot to behold from Yannick Sinner. What a match he played as well against Dimitrov. This one... Dimi did come out the traps fast, as I expected. He really did take the game to Yannick Sinner. But there's just something different about him these days, Yannick. It's just the movement. It's I was saying during the match, the movement of Yannick Sinner is the one thing which is setting him apart from the rest of the tour. He has the ground shots, but to get in the position to play them... He is now doing that on a regular basis, and it's the toughest thing. He slides into a lot of shots that are out of his reach now. Sometimes in the past, they would have gone past him. Now they don't. Now he's able to just stretch out, slide in, and he just he stays in the rally, and he bides his time until he wins the rally. And Grigor seemed out of uh, ideas in this final the first set was close. The second set, Grigor's mind went. You could see the moment when his mind just broke and he had a smash on top of the net right at the end of the match. Sure, it's normally a shot he'll just put away uh, easily. This one he smashed miles long and that, just, that was really the writing on the wall. If he thought he was staying in it, that was uh, guaranteed that he wasn't going to. And Yannick Sinner is the first man under the age of 23 to win three titles in the first three months of a season since Andy Murray. Go on, Andy. Uh, he is the only the fourth man to do it since 2000. We've got Leighton Hewitt, Roger Federer, Andy Murray, and Yannick Sinner making his name into that great elect number of players there. And we've, uh, it was a great Masters for Grigor Dimitrov. We can't uh, ignore the fact that Grigor actually played well in this match as well. It wasn't just a whitewash final 6-3, 6-1. I'd say the first set was very entertaining. But the second set, it was, it was just very tactical and you just saw it was just a battle of minds. It, was, it wasn't a battle of physicality this final we know that they can both be physical we know that Grigor can just do his best and wipe people off a court it just wasn't working in this match and uh, he played incredible tennis for 10 days defeated to Bio when the match seemed over 6-1-6 six, six, love to Hanfman defeated Herkatch, Alcalaz, Zverev all back to back playing almost perfectly and return to the top 10. We've got to remember that as well about Grigor. Uh, absolute legend and super nice guy. And he only has good things to say about his fellow uh, players on tour. And this is what he said about Yannick after the match. He said, Yannick, I'm going to start with congratulating you and your team. He's been exceptional throughout the whole year. Such amazing tennis, an amazing game and everything. It's a pleasure to watch. Definitely not to play. <laughs> This tournament has been difficult throughout all the years. This year, I was so determined to do well that I almost did too well. It's been extremely special to play in front of the fans. I'm just very grateful and thankful. When I look at my box, I feel like a winner. Thank you all. I love you all a lot. And say no more, Grigor Dimitrov. He is loved by all. And uh, what a performance he's put on for the fans in this tournament. I'm hoping that we get to see the same thing as soon as we go onto the clay courts. 
and for the rest of the year, rest of the career as well, hopefully for Dimitrov. But we're here to talk about Sinner, the champion as well. And it's 22 and one so far this season, Australian Open champ, Rotterdam champ, Indian Wells semi-finalist, Miami champ in the race to number one. Uh, well, in the race, he's number one. Uh, to number one <laughs> at the end of the year. And he is the current uh, standings. He is the now the new world number two. Overtakes Carlos Alcalaz. There's the man, Yannick Sinner. And um, the word number one comes up again because Yannick is the first player to claim the men's singles title at the Australian Open and my, uh, Miami Open in the calendar year since Roger Federer in 2017 well there's been a lot of comparisons with him and roger federer maybe we're gonna have the alcalaz nadal we're gonna have him and federer being compared consistently and just to finish off vanch just confirming yannick sinner is going to be great on clay i've got no doubts the unpolished skinny version that made a uh, monte carlo semi-final rome quarter-final beat alcalaz and umag and gave Nadal problems for two sets at Roland Garros in the quarterfinals. Um, world number one looks likely if he keeps uh, up this nearly unplayable level. I would agree with you there, Vanch. I think Yannick Sinner, he looks incredible. Let me know uh, your thoughts about Yannick Sinner's performance in this Miami Open. And tell me how you think he's going to fare on the clay courts too. But that's enough from me. Yannick Sinner reigns supreme again. He is the best tennis player on tour right now. What well, does Djokovic have something to say about that? Seen him warming up on the clay a bit earlier than usual. I can't wait for the clay court swing, let me tell you that much. Hit a like, subscribe, and we'll see you uh, probably tomorrow. It's going to be the countdown. It returns. So join us for the podcast.